it! I'm Travis Downey, and this is Adam Rosenberg, and this is uh, the final regular season edition of the Northwest Florida Daily News' Prep Football Blitz. Get you guys set for Friday night, as we like to do here on the show. Um, we'll start with uh, what appears to be, I'll go ahead and say a little bit of a mismatch. Freeport on the road, uh, regular season finale uh, at Rocky Bayou. Freeport, we know, district champs for a second straight year, going back to the postseason again. Uh, Rocky Bayou, uh, you know, they, they won two games this year, a, a big improvement over a year ago uh, when they went winless. Uh, but I, I think Freeport, you know, last year was a 64-6 ball game in the Bulldogs' favor this year probably uh, along those same lines. Maybe not quite as much, but uh, I like Freeport in this one. Yeah, me too. I think this is a game where Rocky Bayou, you know, knows they're playing a great opponent. And they have to look for, you know, small victories to where maybe they set small goals like win a quarter or win, you know, hold them inside this many yards in a possession, right. stuff like that. And yeah. I'm not saying that to, to be funny. That's just the stuff when the, when the talent yeah. gap is as large as it is in this game. And, you Keep know, Rocky Bayou has had a great season for, mm -hmm. for, you know, what they're trying to do and build that program. But Freeport's one of the best teams in the area. Yeah. Freeport's going to win the game. Freeport wins that. Uh, another District 1A team, Baker, 4-5 and five on the year. Their season uh, ended a few weeks ago, uh, realistically. They're on the road at Bluntstown. Uh, Bob Kellogg's last game is the head coach there at Baker. Uh, how do you see them doing Friday? Well, Bluntstown's 8-1 and one mm -hmm. on the season. Uh, they're playing at home. I think Bluntstown's going to get the win. You know, Baker, like you said, trying to maybe send Coach Kellogg out with, a, with an upset victory in his yeah. final game. And that sounds like, you know, it would be a great story. And Baker's probably could have had a few more wins this season just based on some close losses. But I think Bluntstown's the better team. They've proven it all year, and I think they're going to come out with the win. Yeah, I agree with you, too. You mentioned Baker could have won a few more games. I can take a three offhand. Right. You know, there were six points or less. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Bluntstown as well on that one. Uh, then going on, Vernon on the road at Walton. Uh, Walton getting ready for the playoffs as well. Uh, how do you like their chances this uh, week? Walton came out and looked really strong against South Walton last week. Um, I know it's kind of an undermanned South Walton team when mm -hmm. you're comparing them to the personnel that Walton has. Yeah. Vernon should be a little bit more of a, a, a test. They're a little quicker. They got a, a little bit more athleticism. I think Walton's going to get the win at home. Um, you never know. You know, they, they do have the numbers to kind of rest some people for the playoffs if that's what they choose to do. I'm not sure what their plan is there. But I think regardless, they should have the, the offensive firepower and the defense yeah. to, to take care of Vernon. Yeah, the defense has been playing pretty well. And you mentioned Vernon. They're, they're not – uh, you know, they got some speed. They have some speed, like you mentioned and alluded to there. I like Walton as well, though. Uh, I like what S Stephen Meyer has been really big for them, right. running and catching the ball. Yeah, really uh, coming so on. He's really stepped up. I like Walton there. Uh, Gulf Breeze at Navarre, huge game for the Raiders. They got a chance to win eight games in a regular season for the first time in program history. Can they do it? Will they do it? What do you think? Yeah, they'll do it. Yeah. Um, Gulf Breeze, you know, a team that's put a scare in Choctaw yeah. last week. Yeah. But uh, that was probably a little bit of Choctaw laying down, you know, not laying down, but not being ready, to, not not being ready to play. Navarre's got too much to play for. They want to make his make history for their program, and they're just they've been playing so well all year long. There's no reason to think they're going to let up in the in the final game of the regular season. Yeah, this is a great story that Navarre's kind of uh, putting together this season. Uh, eight and two regular season with a win against the Gulf Breeze team that's only won three times this season. Granted, they've had some close calls, like talk to Hatchie. I like Navarre. Uh, I just think the way they've clicked since, you know, beating Pace, beating Tate, they're looking really good at the right time of the season. So I like them to get the home win there and uh, make some history in doing so. And that brings us to our game of the week. Uh, it's kind of a no-brainer, Choctaw at Fort Walton Beach. Evidently, these two schools don't really like each other. I've heard that. A little bit of a rivalry. Uh, set the stage, Choctaw won last year, you know, just – I think they had like their fourth string running back at quarterback. It was kind of a wild deal. Trey Randolph, the interception return for a touchdown, sealed it. Uh, just a, a wild game uh, at Etheridge Stadium. How, how do you see this year's uh, renewal going? Well, as if the wild game last year wasn't enough to kind of set things in motion for this year, then you got the fact that Fort Walton Beach, you know, for the first time in a long time, knows that this is their last game of the season. Yeah. They're not going to the playoffs. So this sets up kind of a you know a Super Bowl mentality for them. This is their season. Right. This is what those seniors are going to be able to look back on. Um, I think Choctaw. If, if you play this game, you know five times, Choctaw might win four. But I'm going to go with Fort Walton Beach yeah. to right. come up with the upset at home on Friday. I think those seniors um, are probably pretty upset with the way things have gone this year, just by you know four games that they lost by a, a touchdown or less. Mm -hmm. Those four games could easily went the other way. Um, I think that you know, knowing that this is what they have to look back on, and you know, Choctaw still has a, a playoffs Playoff. to go on to. 
I think Fort Walton Beach lays it all on the line, and somehow it'll be close, just like all those other games that they've had this year, but somehow Fort Walton Beach is going to find a way to pull it out at the end. Special teams could play a big hand. Uh, we saw Dale Smith last week. Those two big returns really spelled the difference for them. There's going to be a lot of pride on the line on both sides, and you mentioned Fort Walton Beach. You know, Prior to that loss last year, they had won five straight in the series, and that was something they were really proud of. They had T-shirts ready for that sixth year, you know, rumor was. Uh, so there's a lot of pride on the line. I like Choctaw, though, uh, and, and I like your pick. I think it's a strong pick. I'm going to go with Choctaw, though, just because I think this team, maybe this wouldn't have been the case last year or the year before where they might have looked past for Walton Beach given their state of the records. These guys aren't doing that. Uh, and speaking with some of those guys earlier this week, uh, I think they're very well aware of how close Fort Walton Beach has been this season. So I'm going to take Choctaw and a squeaker at Fort Walton. Well, yeah, and, and I think it's not a – won't even be a case of Choctaw looking past. I just think Fort Walton Beach is, is – considerably better than their record. Mm -hmm. And I think the gap between the two teams is a lot closer than probably people would you know, initially think. Yeah. But either way, it should be a fun Friday night. Um, it's been a great regular season, and we, we thank you for turn, tuning in. And we'll see you next week for the uh, first postseason edition of the Blitz.